morning welcome back to the vlogs today we are in marissa so we got a train from gaul to marissa it took about an hour cost about 100 um sri lankan rupees which is around 30p around 30p for a one hour train journey we almost missed the stop because we were <laughs> looking on google maps we're expecting it to stop on the right hand side it actually stopped on the left so jane was like we're not there yet and i was like yeah we are <laughs> so to like quickly run off even though we were looking on google maps we were counting the stops we were like trying to be really careful we still almost missed it anyway we've got here now so we've got to walk 40 minutes to be able to get to the beach we want to go and see pirate rock we also want to see maybe coconut hill i think it's called and then also turtle bay my brother came here a couple of years ago and went snorkeling every single day in turtle bay and said he saw turtles every single time so we've got the gopro anyway let's get going so I've just been walking a couple of minutes and I was expecting the Marissa train station to be a little bit like Gaul where it's quite busy, probably a bus station next door, people selling food, but there's like not many people here. There's a tiny, tiny shop we're just walking past. You'll probably see it behind my shoulder in a second, but yeah, there's no tuk-tuks. There's no, there it is. There's no one kind of here and it's lovely. It's lovely and quiet. And this is the road that we're walking down. So you can see it's not even particularly tarmac and then there's like just fields on one side and then just bushes on the other side so very rural here which is not what I was expecting considering that Maris is one of the kind of top tourist places I think here so we're just walking along this path and then we looked up and there's a bat just hanging out Jeremy's not sure if he's been fried and I thought he might be asleep but either way <laughs> It's touching two wires. So we are still walking into town. I just wanted to show you this view. And then the opposite side is this view. And I think there's some water buffalo over there about to walk past. Look at these two together. Just hanging out. Okay, so there's starting to be more houses and more accommodation and things like that. But we're not quite on the main road yet of being like in Marissa, like in town. Okay, so this is the main road. The first stop is to go to Parrot Rock, I think it's called. And it's a big red rock on the water, basically. So that's the main road. We've decided we're actually going to turn right here at the shack and walk along the beach instead. Okay, so this is the start of Marissa Beach. Quite big waves today. <laughs> And then there, that's Parrot Rock. So there's a surf school here that's doing some morning yoga. So that's super cute. Also, me and Jeremy are now umbrella people where if it's sunny, if it's like past 8 a.m., <laughs> we use an umbrella because it is so bloody hot. And I've not put sun cream on yet today either, so I don't really want to burn my face before we've even started the day. It's cool here, it's nice. It's different to where we are, which is nice. It's a nice sort of different vibe. Okay, so this is Parrot Rock. I think we're gonna have a look at the top and then we'll go for a bit of a swim because it is roasting. But this side, there's all this beach. And then actually let's just carry on round. And then there's kind of places where you can um, rent surfboards and snorkeling stuff. And then there's more beach over there. And I think Turtle Point is like, not this beach, but the next beach over. So we'll go there and have a look in a second. Okay, we're making our way up. Look at these steps here. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we've walked up and over and this is the back, but I want to show you the view from kind of up there because it was really nice. But there's all these rocks here and the water is just the most insane colour blue. And Jeremy's already spotted a turtle here, which was the main reason for us to come here, honestly, was to try and swim with turtles. And then over this way, you can see the surfers trying to catch some waves. Okay, it's a bit windy, but that was the steps where we came up. And then this is the view of the beach. And I was saying to Jeremy, this part here could be amazing to scuba, not scuba dive, snorkel. But then I noticed just how many urchins there are. You see all the urchins in the water, all the black parts are basically urchins, which would hurt if you ended up standing on one or getting your knee on one. So maybe we won't snorkel there, but it's beautiful.
we're about to leave and Jeremy just spotted a turtle. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Okay, so we've come down to the beach. We've put our bags on the side on these rocks and we're going to go in for a swim, hopefully find this turtle. So we're now going to switch over to the GoPro. So I hope that's all right and enjoy the footage. We're looking for the turtle, but we can't find it yet. Okay, so we went swimming, <laughs> tried to find the turtle and couldn't find one. So Jeremy went back up the rock so that he could try and spot one. Still couldn't see any, so we're now going to walk towards Turtle Bay. It's basically two beaches over, I showed you it earlier, and hopefully there's going to be more turtles there that we can go and swim with. I've just, um, I just asked, sorry, how much surfing would be here. It's 14 euros for an hour class, and then one euro of 40 to rent the board per hour. So we might either come back here one day or we'll go to um, another place just to kind of explore somewhere new to go surfing. But. It seems like a pretty decent price and I think I would need like at least one hour sort of classes so yeah it's cool. So there's Parrot Rock and you can see the surf school is on the right hand side there and we were sort of swimming just behind that person with the surfboard but in the shallow water and then we're now walking around here and we're going to go past the beach like past the jetty there. There's also plenty of different surf schools here so if you came you could just sort of pop into whichever one you fancied and get some surf lessons. But it's super cute beach vibes. This beach is black sand. I don't think I've ever seen that before in person. I've seen it on videos and things before. Okay, there's a school here. Right, we've made it to Turtle Bay or Turtle Point, something like that. <laughs> and then over in the court, well, in the back there, up there, <laughs> is Coconut Tree Hill or something. It's like a famous Instagram spot. Anyway, we're hoping to see some turtles here. Okay, we're in Turtle Bay water. Hi, Jeremy. Hopefully, we can see some turtles here. Okay, so we have finished swimming with the turtles. Best day ever. If you ever come to Sri Lanka, make sure you come to Marissa and come to Turtle Bay, Turtle Beach, Turtle Point, whatever it's called. So, so good. There were so many turtles. 
you could get really close. I could have touched them. I didn't, but I could have touched them easily. They get so close to you. They're so friendly. I loved watching them like eating on the floor and then coming up for water. It was so much fun. Me and Jeremy were both like, oh my God, like in the water, just like so happy. So, so, so cool. One of my highlights of this year so far, 100% loved it. So we're now going to go over to Coconut Tree Hill, I think it's called, the one that I showed you earlier. Get myself an Instagram snap at that place just because that's what you do apparently. And then I think we're going to get some food and probably get a bus back because we're tired. Also, I think the sun is starting to burn me a little bit, so I don't want to get completely frazzled. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, but I'll let you know. I'll take you obviously to the hill as well so you can see that. But honestly, had the best time ever swimming with turtles. So we're still making our way towards the coconut tree hill. There's a couple of people up there, but I'm sure I'll be able to get a snap. But it is so gorgeous, so pretty. Okay, we have made it to coconut tree hill. Taking some pictures, taking some videos. I'll show you a little bit um, what we're looking at. So down that way is the beach, which is where we walked along and climbed up. I'm sorry if you can hear the wind. And then there's lots of palm trees. There's this red sort of gravel, that's our bags red floor and it looks out over to the blue ocean with all the palm trees so it is pretty cool view and then over this way as well so there's three turtles here one of them's just come up for air it's quite a big one it's like here oh you can see it coming to the surface now i think mm. is it coming up yeah there wow look at that one there's so many of them here Okay, we're now going back down the other way, which is more like the road, like the path way. So that we can get on the road and hopefully find some food, but I thought I would just show you this path. So it's just kind of stones and greenery either side. So you can kind of come either way, basically. So if you go this way, you might get to here and think, oh my God, where do I go now? Basically, you go up there and you kind of go up by the side of the fence and in between the trees. It's only for like a minute and then you'll be on the hill, basically. So if you come this way, that's the way to go. Okay, we have now come somewhere for lunch. We've ordered two vegetable kotu, so we're going to have one of those each. I might also get a chocolate roti while we're here, we'll see. But otherwise the bus station, well the bus stop actually just across the street. So whenever we're finished, we'll head over there and just wait for the bus. Can you see? I feel like I've got sunburn around my goggles. Never mind. So this is what's turned up. We've got one each. Okay, we are now on the bus home. 